What's going on guys? It's your boy Bobby back at it again with another Brawl Stars video and today we are going to be playing some Rico in Siege and I'm really excited for this map. It's actually a new map. I've been playing a Re been playing Rico a little bit. It's been awesome so far. It's been a lot of fun and yeah with that being said let's get into it. Jello Beats, holla at me! So here we go, getting to the first game here. So we're going to be facing a Frank, I think it was a Penny and a Barley. So Barley is super, 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 super strong here. Penny also very strong, and honestly Frank's also very strong. I think Rico's actually kind of tough, but I'm going to show you guys a few bounces and a few ways to make Rico work in this map. Rico isn't really too viable on many maps, so whenever he can work, I try and kind of make him work. Anyways, pew pew pew, you know, get the fast super off straight away. We're just going to be holding our lane here. It's important that you guys hold your lanes in Siege because, you know, you guys kind of have to hold the middle possession. So we're going to be able to get the kill there. Lester is going to be able to kill there. Frank, but he's going to go down. We're going to continue to watch our lane. Got a full health penny on us. Probably going to try and come close to us and just auto aim us. So we're going to try and get away from him there. Ooh, we got us the one shot. We're going to go right back into it. So that's a good play on the pennies part. Um, getting the turret down also is very huge. So we're going to do a bit of damage. We're not going to do too much. So what I've kind of picked up from Siege so far is you're not going to win normally on one push. I mean, it's definitely possible, and I've definitely done it a bunch of times before. But it's not happening too often. So what I think is the best strategy is either you go in for the first push. If you think you can do a decent amount and stay alive, then do it. We just did 42%. Now that's actually a good amount for the first push. And normally I would say don't try and get the second boss if you get the first push and I'll tell you why. I think that you can work up your, I think the second one's kind of easy to beat. You can see Lester just did some additional damage. I think the second boss is kind of easy to beat and you're definitely not, if you play it right, it's hard to get this done to you. If you play it right, you're not going to get 100% done on you if you're defending a second boss. That was a bit of a miss of a super there. Good play by that Frank to get us both. Anyways, you're not going to lose 100 and you're going to be able to build up some some bolts and you're going to have like three and they're going to have zero going into the third round with a lot of damage done. So that's what I would say to do. I'd say just let them have the second one. Kind of chill out on it. But yeah, anyways, this Frank's put in a lot of work and it looks like they're going to be able to get the second one. No, they got a bigger boss. This is something you want to avoid. Letting them get anything above 10 really is pretty detrimental uh, let's see if we're able to get him I don't think so so they're actually playing kind of tough it's really hard to beat their comp now I'm gonna go get into more of the Rico side so you want to obviously here there's a lot of areas where you can hide a little like one one by one dimensions like that you definitely want to use your bounces especially if you have star power it's gonna your shots are gonna go further you're gonna have more damage done so just gonna aim down the Frank now they have a level 17 robot. So my opinion, my advice when they have a level 17 robot, let the robot get a few hits off and kind of focus on their second tier. So you can see we took out the barley over there. We're distracting the penny right now. You kind of just don't want to let them get a huge push off. Now they're going to do a bit of damage that you can't control just because the guy is so big. Now they actually did more damage than I thought. But, as you can see, we didn't let them do too, too much, like, well, they did a lot, but we didn't let them end the game, basically. So we just gotta stay cognizant, we can't let them flank on us, but if they don't flank on us, we're automatically gonna get the win, because we had worked up bolts, and we're gonna get a huge boss. Now, just a tip, when there's 10%, or something around there, we have 11 right now, you can actually just go in and win it, you can hit 3 barley shots on the safe, you can Rico super the safe, you can put a bear ahead of you and start shooting it with Anita, so we definitely do have to stay calm. So we can't die. We can let them get bolts because we have such a big lead, but we can't die because that'll give them a lane to go in. So we're using the wall over here to get the barley. We're gonna use a wall like this. We're gonna super this penny. We don't want anything to hit our safe. We're gonna let the robot just go up because we know the robot's gonna do a lot of damage. We know we're gonna be fine with the robot. So the robot's going to go in, we're going to defend, and that is going to be the end of the first game. That was a really close one. That game was awesome. And let's get straight into the second one.
So here we go into the second game. Looks like they're also going to have a Rico. So this is actually a very strong team. Glizzy Boy, Jack Sly, and Ming Woon. I think Jack Sly is definitely one of the better players in the game. Same with Glizzy Boy. So this is definitely going to be really, really tough. So here we go. We're going to use bounces. We don't. Again, we're just trying to get middle possession. Don't really need to get too many kills. Jack was able to pick one up there. Me and Glizzy have not hit a shot on each other so far. I've been playing very defensive. We got a few on Glizzy over there. Lester's going to help out. Glizzy's going to go down. We are able also to get Jack. So we are going to get middle possession so far. Now it looks like we're going to win 3-2 to two on this first siege. So they are likely going to get the second siege. We are able to full clip Glizzy over there. So we are up 2-0 in the Rico battle. Also, sorry if I sound a bit off. I think I'm sick right now again, which sucks. So we're going to have Glizzy backed up again. He almost went down, but he is still alive. It looks like they are doing a good job of taking out us. So it looks like we're not going to have the biggest push in the world. We're going to go over here. We just get a nice super off, do a bit of damage to the safe. We actually think we missed the safe. That sucks. But we did hit a little bit of somebody. So we did charge our super a bit. Anyways, you can see that Lester and Spence stayed alive. Good on them because we have middle possession again. Now, normally I'd say let's let them win, but it looks like we already have middle possession and we're fighting for it, so we might as well. But in this situation, I'd actually rather they win just because we didn't do too much damage. So we're going to tie with Ming Wu over there. The situation that was at hand, I'm actually surprised we were able to get the tie. It looks like Glizzy's going to be able to pick one up on the right side with very low health, which is really unfortunate. But with that being said... Let's get a super off over here. We are going to be able to do a bit of damage to Jack. We're actually going to be able to take him out. It looks like they did get the boss, so I'm actually really happy about that because we have a lot of stuff ready. We have a lot of bolts ready. Oh, wow. Glizzy is left at one shot. Now, that, that just sucks. But anyways, our defense, we don't have too much damage per second. So, we can't really take out the boss too, too fast. We are going to try and take out Jack's going to be unsuccessful. We were able to do a lot of damage, although, to their bull, which is our main damage dealer. So that's awesome. Anyways, they have it at 8%. Now, this is actually a very smart team, a very good team. So we do have to stay very cognizant of them rushing in. It's going to be really hard to win this game now with their bull because their bull has the ability to just rush in. I think that's what's going to happen here, to be honest. Let's see what happens. Looks like he's more or less getting trapped and he might go. Or he's just going to hold it. Yeah, he didn't think the situation was right, so he's just going to hold it. Anyways, let's, we have to watch the right side. So we have eyes on everybody currently. So that is awesome. We're going to try and take out Glizzy with the super. Looks like we're able to take out Glizzy with our team. Work. We have to watch the right side. I think they are going to be able to get it this time, actually. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, they won't be able to. Looks like Jack is going to have fair shot at taking it. Nope, we were able to take him out. So it looks like we do have the robot on the safe, but it looks like he's not doing too much damage because of the bull's defense. I thought he was going to stay alive a little bit longer, so I did go in, but it didn't work out. We did a lot of damage, but it's still an extremely tough scenario right now while they have their supers. Like, Lizzie can just walk in and end it right now. Have to watch out for that. It looks like he's going to be able to. Ooh, left it at 4%. So now Jack can literally walk in and just take it. It's a bit of, it just, I don't think we have a chance at winning this one just because of the fact that we have to make sure that they don't walk in and at the same time they can just walk in and hit the safe ones. Yeah, this is probably going to end it right here. Maybe not. Yeah, we were able to kill Glizzy, but the game is definitely over at this point. Nothing that we can do about it, unfortunately. Yeah, the robot's just going to come in and take it. So GG to them. I'll definitely leave this video in the game so that we can show you guys exactly what happened and show you guys some high-level gameplay. We definitely won the Rico battle there, but they had some good teamwork. They had one really, really strong push that definitely that, that won them the game. So GG's to these guys. That was an awesome game, and let's get into the next one. So into the third game here, it looks like we're going to face another extremely strong team. So in my opinion, the two best Spanish players and a very strong French player. So we do have a little bit of delay this game, but it's actually not that noticeable, to be honest. Definitely can't see it if you're watching the video. It's actually really weird. You can definitely feel delay a lot more than you can see delay. 
which I don't really understand why. Like, it's hard for me to explain, but I can feel delay right now. But even just looking at it, it doesn't look like there's delay, so I don't really know how to explain it. But anyways, we are going to be able to get that. Gui was a bit too passive. Gui's really good at juking, but sometimes I think he does overdo it to say. So we are going to be able to take him out here, unless he puts his god jukes on us, which he wasn't able to do. So we're up 4-1. We're going to probably have a decently strong push. I hope we're able to do at least 50% here. If we do 50% here, then it's like that we're able to do 50% with our next push. So we just have to make sure that we isn't just on our robot destroying it. So we are going to super him. And even us going down is worth it because we does so much work. Their bull does so much work to our uh, to our tank or to our robot that it's it's worth it. It's honestly worth the trade. So we're going to play defensive here, we're going to hold back mid possession, we're going to hold back mid still, and we're actually going to still be able to do that much damage, so that was definitely an awesome push. So we got a turret out, as you guys know, Penny turret is so strong, so we're definitely going to work on taking that out, we were able to get the Penny, we're going to back up, definitely don't stand still, get able to take out the Penny turret, hopefully nothing hits us, perfect. So we still have middle possession. It looks like this game is going well. It's 4-2. They actually just got a really good spawn. So they're probably going to get this next robot because of that. So that's actually really unfortunate. But what can we do about that? Anyway, so we're holding off the mid right now. We're trying to be able to get this power up. But it looks like they're honestly going to be able to. Two people on us. We're going to super Albert. We're going to be able to get Albert. And that's actually really crucial because the Barley does a lot of damage to the safe when they're attacking. So that was awesome to do for us. We are going to be working over here. We're going to be able to take out Glee because he just charged in a straight line. I definitely would not recommend doing that if I were you, but that's a very small push that they have. Now we have a four bolt lead. We just walked right back into that penny turret. I don't really know why I did that for us of habit. But anyways, it looks like whoever gets the next robot is likely going to win. Now they're up, we're up 5-2 right now in bolts, but they do have middle possession. So we are probably going to have to get a kill if we want to win this game. That was a good pitch on Thom right there. It looks like we're going to be able to take out Albert, and we are. So we do have middle ground. <laughs> the one spot where their bowl was, was where the bolt actually spawns. So that's like not really good. But it looks like we're still able to hold mid. We're going to have to take a penny shot over there to collect that bolt, which always sucks. Wow. That penny turret is so good. That's unreal. Anyways, I don't know if we're going to have too strong of a push here, just because me and Spen are coming in a bit late. But hopefully we'll be able to get the 50%, even though that there's a big bull tanking it. So, oh, the bull went down, everything's going down, we're all in the safe. And that is going to be it for the third game. So that's all I'm going to do today. Those were three really, really good games and really high level games. I just wanted to include the lost the loss so I can just tell you guys my perspective of when we're winning when we're losing in situations what you want to do but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay that was really fun for me to do I, I'm really enjoying Siege and I really enjoy Rico on the Siege map let me know your guys opinion on Siege because I'm really enjoying it right now and I want to know what the community also likes so anyways comment like trust me likes do so much more than you think I really really would appreciate if you guys can drop a like on the video sub if you aren't You'll get high quality content every single day. And with that being said, I'm going to bounce. I'll see you guys tomorrow and peace.